The Turkish government has launched a legal action against Christie's auction house in New York. The dispute began after Christie sold a marble figure on Friday for $14.5 million. Ankara says the piece was smuggled from Turkey. It now has 60 days to prove its claim. Joining me now to discuss this some more is the government's anti-trafficking expert, Zeynep Oz. Thank you for joining us, Zeynep. Thank you very much, Vanessa. It's my pleasure. So first of all, tell me why is this statue so important? Because this statue is the uh, most complete version of Kilia idols. Uh, in total, we know 30 Kilia idols uh, defined until today, uh, and only 15 of them uh, are complete and this one is the one which is in the best condition and this is the biggest one with 22.5 centimeters. And what were Kilia idols? Just explain that to me. Kilia idols uh, were part of a cult. Uh, it represents female deity uh, and it was quite important for religious and social life of the people uh, living during the Chalcolithic period. Uh, when we are saying Chalcolithic mainly we are referring to 5,000 uh, be uh, 5,000 years before century. Uh, and these idols uh, are important because they are unique to Anatolia. They were produced in Anatolia, in Manisa region, in Kulaksızlar. Uh, and they really represent a significant social life based on this area. So the government is confident that they do in fact come from here? Exactly, exactly. It's not always very easy uh, to depict the origin of an artifact, especially if it's a product of a clandestine excavation. Uh, and unfortunately, most of the pieces that the source countries, Turkey is not alone in this field, there are several other source countries. And when the artifact op is obtained by an illegal excavation, if it's not recorded uh, in, a, in the inventory of a museum and etc., then it becomes nearly impossible to uh, to prove its origin. However, for Kilia idols, they are quite characteristic to the region. And there are several scientific studies dedicated to these idols. So that's why we are very confident about the source. You used the word illegal there. Why do you think it's, how do you think it got out of Turkey? Uh, there is no other way than it, it going illegal because uh, the problem is since 1884, since the Ottoman period, the cultural artifacts, be it under soil, be it under water, are state property. And it's totally prohibited to take them out of Turkey, then Ottoman Empire. And in 1906, uh, the Ottoman Empire revised this legislation, and this was a legislation which was in force in Turkey until 1973, when a new legislation was enacted. Uh, if the only origin could be Turkey, and if the provenance information for this idol as expressed by Christie's can only date back to 1966, then there should be a problem here. Uh, because the provenance information is the part which, um, which lets you know if this artifact is legal or illegally taken out of a country. So when did it pop up in the States? 1966. This is the latest oh, date did. they can okay. give about Okay. It. And Christie's is confident that it's that it is legal. Look, here we have a different uh, thing to know. First of all, it doesn't mean uh, that a, an artifact uh, is illegally imported, imported if it's illegally exported. So this is the balance that we are trying to set. Uh, unfortunately, this is the main problem of most of the source countries. The exportation is illegal. However, at the destination country, if the importation is legal, then you are kind of, I don't mean that it's on purpose, but you are kind of laundering the artifact. So that's why the destination countries should really revise their legislation and should impose import restrictions. Now, uh Ankara has around 60 days to, pr to prove otherwise, um, that it is in fact illegal. What, what is it doing? How can it prove that it is illegal? Unfortunately, we are not talking about a case which happened yesterday. So it won't be very easy to find crimin criminological evidence. However, scientific reports uh, speak themselves. So that's why 
I'm confident that it should be uh, convincing to the uh, new owner, at least, to return the artifact back. At least what Turkey did by giving this huge one-page advertisement uh, on the New York Times, Turkey gave a very strong message here, I find. Uh, it was a nice invitation uh, to the people who own such kind of artifacts, letting them know that it's not possible to export something from Turkey. So even if the owners or buyers or potential buyers of such kind of artifacts would tell that they were not aware, now they cannot say this. Now Turkey is letting them to know uh, that such kind of things are not legal to be exported, so they cannot be owned by them ethically uh, or uh, legally. It cannot be accepted by Turkey. Okay, Zeynep, that's all we have time for. Thank you so much for joining Thank us you. today. Thank you, it's my pleasure. Okay.